Hey guys, Cam here. Now, I don't know about you, but when I play games, I tend to play either on my own or with a friend or sometimes with these lovely chumps. But how about playing in front of 13,000 people? Well, that was the attendance at the League of Legends Season 3 World Finals, held in the famous LA Staples Center earlier this year. And it sold out in under an hour. Big numbers, but perhaps not surprising when you consider that 27 million people play League of Legends every day. And that's enough to fill the Staples Center 2,076 times. In fact, League of Legends is arguably the biggest game in the world. And as a result, a great context to answer a question I've been thinking about for quite a while. Does having a packed stadium, watching your every mouse click and trigger squeeze actually help or perhaps hinder your gaming performance? So, in a rare bout of pre-planning, at this year's Gamescom, myself and Seb took in the sights and sounds of the EU LCS Summer Playoffs. Over 2,500 spectators crowded into the tiered seating of the Riot Arena, with hundreds waiting outside, queuing to get a glimpse of the action. After watching a really tense and exciting semi-final between Team Roca and the ultimate victors Fnatic, I sat down for a chat with the winning side and also the match caster to find out how they felt a live audience could affect their own performance. Well, the very first time I actually did have to play in front of a live audience, it definitely made me worse because I was very nervous. You know now you have all these people here cheering for you and also cheering against you if they are for the other team. So you know, okay, if you make a mistake, you give up a kill for instance, the crowd goes wild and you know it's against you. So in that case, I was very, very nervous actually going on stage. But after the very first time I've done it, it only helped me because then you get the feeling as well like it carries you. So if you do get a good start, if you do do something really good in the game, you hear the crowd and you just take it and you roll with it. I like to think, okay, when the good thing is when I do a cool play, everyone's gonna go crazy. So I just gotta wait for that play. Even if I don't do anything, half an hour, then I do one cool play, people's gonna go crazy. So it kind of motivated me to, instead of thinking that they are there, I try to think that they are there for a good thing, you know? Like, they are cheering, not uh, booing or to watch what I do, but to cheer. Before you're in game, you are, of course, really nervous about everything. and. Then uh, when you get into the game, I, I don't really even notice the crowd. I just try my best to focus on the game. I think nervousness actually helps me in many ways because it makes me play so much better than I usually do because I always think twice about everything I do. I don't really have a tactic, actually. It's just sort of the person I am. I've always been playing sports, so I've always learned how to be cold-blooded where you're always in these like, high-matter situations where you just be calm. You're the most calm guy in the team. It affects our performance in a good way because Sometimes it's really good when they're cheering for you, especially when you're losing. But at the same time, when you do good action and they're there, like cheering for you, you just want to do more. And then sometimes it leads you to mistake, but I'm not blaming them at all. It's just us not sometimes managing our stress or us being pumped, you know? So that's what the pros think, but what can science and psychology tell us? Everybody meets social facilitation. Social facilitation? This is everybody. So this describes the effect that simply having people present and watching has on an individual's ability to do a task. This has been studied a lot in the context of both professional sport as a way of explaining the increased number of world records set at major tournaments like the Olympics and also just general task performance. So what has the research shown? Well, it seems that by just having people watch what you're doing, it can actually make you better at a task, but not always. See, it really depends on the nature of the task in question. Crucially, if the person is performing either a simple task or one that's very well practiced, then the effect of having an audience watching is usually positive. Conversely, performance at a tricky or completely new task with an audience of spectators looking on can actually worsen performance. As psychologist Robert Zajonk argued, the presence of others serves as a source of arousal, and heightened arousal increases the likelihood of individuals to perform well at a learned task. This just means that a person's drive to do a thing is higher if the task is well-practiced or simple, whereas it's lower for more complex or less-practiced tasks. This is not the only theory attempting to explain the effects of social facilitation, though. Nicholas Cottrell argues that it's not so much the presence of the people that matters, per se, but it's more to do with the apprehension of being evaluated by those watching. Now, we know that approval, disapproval, and our overall self-esteem are often dependent on others' opinions and evaluations. 
So it stands to reason that the presence of others could increase our drive to perform based on anxiety over the impending evaluation. This appeals to me as it explains how confidence in one's abilities could be a huge dictator of whether or not a crowd helps a person perform. It's kind of like an exam situation. If you go in confident, then you don't fear the exam so much, and in fact, it can really drive you to excel. However, if you're less confident in your abilities, then the pressure of that evaluation can really get to you and diminish your performance. So, all this research is pretty damn interesting, but one thing it doesn't help us understand is the impact of an online audience. And for high stakes League of Legends matches, these numbers can be insane. In fact, our pals at Fnatic set a record for the most single viewed match in ESL history at the ESL's Intel Extreme Masters earlier this year, when 511,000 viewers tuned in concurrently on Twitch to see the action unfold. So, could this online audience also be having some impact on the players? Well, it's hard to say really, as there's been no research directly carried out on the impact of remote audiences on a player. So, I put the question to the Fnatic guys to get their insight. It doesn't matter if there is 10k, 100k, 1, 1 million. What really matters is the people you see in front of you, you know? Because I think everyone counts like the stream as one people, one person. You have a camera on you, but you don't even think about it. You think the cameras are there to show stuff for the people in the place. So for me, I really never thought about it. It was never a problem. I never thought if it was 100k or 300k. I never thought it because I don't even know until the game is over anyway. So, so first of all, when you do play and with all the online viewers, you don't even care because you don't even think about the fact it's being streamed. You don't think about the fact you have all these people online watching. That's where the live crowd really kicks in because now you see these people in real life and you see them reacting to what's going on and that's where you get affected by it. So how much do you think a crowd can affect a gamer's performance? And do you agree with our pros assessment of things? Let me know in the comments. And remember, if you want to suggest a reality check topic, then the best way to do that is to tweet directly at me at camfrasrob. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you next week.